All right, guys, what's going on? This is Omar from CTM Airsoft, and today we have something special for you. So, um, I'm pretty sure you guys are already familiar with the, our first design, AAP1 holster, which was uh, thumb manipulated and open holster type. So, you know, lots of people out there, they are making a transition from this sort of standard Kydex uh, holster to the open holsters. Why? Because you know, a lot of people like to put some attachments on their guns, right? For example, you might want to have some um, maybe red dot or maybe tactical light. So if you have those attachments, it's actually very hard to find a, a nice holster like this for that gun. So, but if we have, let's say, this sort of open uh, holster, then it's very easy because just clicks right here and you can use your thumb to actually you know take out the gun it's super easy right so and first holster we actually have some extra parts with the design which also came in this nice tank color so people were asking us okay um, we got the holster already but what are these parts right these parts are actually pretty simple um, for example this one the one that I'm holding in my hand uh, this is for for your belt clip attachment just directly goes on like this and you can you know tap your gun on it and perfect design but uh, this one was actually for molly molly attachment so you have your molly tape here just goes in like this so that you can actually put it on your chest rib so AAP1 holster was pretty good but we thought okay what's going to be the second generation holster for us right because this was the proprietary one and you, you could only use it on AAP1 we said okay lots of people have Glocks lots of people have PPQs and how about we design a holster that can fit different types of Glocks different you know brand manufactured Glocks and also AAP and maybe PPQs as well and the design that we did the new design that we were doing lots of iterations on actually here let me show you some of the 3d printed parts and guys let me tell you i'm a mechanical engineer myself this is hard to design because one type fits all it's always very hard to do but we were able to do that after you know many many uh sleepless nights and uh, you know many hours of brainstorming so now we have this and let me show you how to use this uh, second generation GA holster. So based on our customers feedback we wanted to fix two things with our previous design AAP1 holster. The first thing is being that AAP1 holster was a proprietary one and you could only use it with one type of uh, handgun. So but lots of our friends actually has uh, the Glocks, different sort of Glocks from different brands and we wanted to address this issue. We wanted to have a holster that will fit you know most of the big brand Glocks as well as uh, AAP ones. So this was the first issue, and the second issue is that our customers, our friends, wanted to have some flexibility with the different holster systems. And what do I mean by that? For example, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this one. This is just like a belt uh, clip system. And but some people actually has this sort of leg extension ones for their holsters. Some people has here, as you can see, the pedal ones, you know, this can, you know, directly, you can use it with your pants without, without needing any belts. Or if you're one of those cool dudes that want to use maybe Molly system on your chest rig, you know, you can use it as well with the GA holster, our new holster. But I want to talk about my favorite one, which is the drop leg holster. And there's a couple of you know special things about this uh, drop leg system is that this is going to come with two different mag pouches two different angles I mean and you can drop your mags right in there and the second nice thing about this design is that we have a small adjustment screw right in the middle that will allow you to adjust the the angle of your gun and to put the, just the small allen key right here for example if you loosen this up you know, you can adjust the angle as you like. Let's say I like it in the middle. I can just, you know, tighten this one up. Or let me actually show you something a bit more interesting. We have a, in, in just middle here, we have a thing called 
height adjustment nut. So this will actually allow you to adjust the height of your gun right here. Maybe you like it uh, a bit closer to your body, right? Then you can actually take this part out of the, the holster system and you can use it a bit closer to your body right here, just like this. And all right, let me just tighten this one up again, just like this. So in this way, you will be able to use it a bit closer to your body right here. Uh, I personally like to use it like this, but some people actually like it a bit, a bit far away from their body, but that's okay too. Anyways, we're gonna have this part in the in the package itself. So <laughs> let's talk about the uh, the holster itself. So there are some nice you know uh, design quirks that we added with the system. Uh, one of them is being this small plastic part here. So people were asking us, okay, you have this release sort of button you know outside, but what if I accidentally push this against something? Am I going to drop my gun? Well, no. This is this is why we added this this small you know cover. So if you are pushing this against something, this small part here is actually going to protect the release release button, and it's not going to go off. All right. So um, we have all sorts of different Glocks here. We got WE ones, VFC. Uh, we got Mari KSC, and um, so let's try them out, right? I'm just gonna go ahead with this one, WEG17. Uh, this particular gun has a tactical light on it, uh, as well as a red dot. But you might be using a maybe suppressor or even like a carbine, right? And one nice thing about you know open design holsters is that you know you can do lots of attachments on the gun itself. Like I said, maybe a carbine, maybe a suppressor, a tactical light, or a red dot. No problem. And I've been using this holster uh, for, for some time and guys, this is not going to come off. This can withstand lots of bubble. So you can say goodbye to your fear of you know, dropping your gun in the field, which I did with my previous you know, holsters uh, back in the day. But you know, thank God we have this now. And like I said, this release cover is going to help you. Uh, without accidentally you know dropping your gun and let's see for example for me I like to use it with my middle finger but you can also use it with your you know index finger as well just this is just my thought I, it feels like a bit more natural move you know with this and one interesting design quirk here is that you might be loaded you might be cocked or maybe uncocked right so it's not a problem, this gun will fit right in. And let me show you what if we have a cock gun, right? It's not going to fire as well, it's like you won't be able to maybe accidentally push the trigger. So. I think overall this is a very good design that will uh, help you not lose your gun and also uh, it's going to make it in a very safe way. Alright, and this design is going to come with three different colors. The, the black one, standard, we're also going to have OD green and also a 10. So hopefully this will be coming out at the end of the March, it will be with you very shortly and you can order it from ctmairsoft.com and thanks a lot.